nerds. So today I am wrapping up opening these uh, Black Adam action figures, and I'm going to be opening the last one with the Adam Smasher. This is only the um, the seven inch one. Um, I'm not going to buy the the twelve inch one. I just feel like there's no need to um, to buy both of them. Uh, I because I, I was like, well, which, which one should I buy? And I was like, well, if I did want to set these up, um, you know. I, I would I would want it to be the same size as everybody else. So I mean, so I just bought the seven inch one. Now this could change. I could buy the 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 uh, twelve inch one, but uh, or ten inch doesn't matter. Uh, but I just bought this one. So um, let's open this sucker up and see how uh, see if it's cool or not. All right, here we go, you guys. All right, you guys. So here's the figure in the box. Um, so we're gonna pop this sucker open. Um, the box is is pretty much like the rest of them, with just a picture on the back. Sorry, taking my sweet time with this tape. Let's fast forward through all this nonsense and get all these accessories out and everything. So here is the figure. Um, it's got you know it's normal points of articulation when it comes to uh, McFarland toys. Um, it comes with two sets of hands. You know, uh, punchy punch hands and then open fit, open hands, a base uh, like most of them, a pretty basic base. And then a card that has that animated picture and then all of his info on the back. So that's kind of fun. So here is the figure. Um, it's got plenty of points of articulation. Be careful when bending these because a lot of the times they break. Uh, I'm, I'm finding McFarlane toys have a habit of doing that. Um, so I would say just be careful. Um, so here it bends at the ankles. The knees, uh, the hips, um, and it twists at the 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 uh, the what's it called <laughs> the, the the waist, um, and then um, at the upper torso area, at the elbows, the shoulders, and then the head, of course, right there. Um, like I said, uh, it's a pretty solidly made figure. Uh, you know, I mean, I enjoy it. Uh, but it's a pretty basic figure. I mean, it's just a guy in like a a hood kind of thing. So uh, like I said before, they make a 12 inch one. I'm not planning on buying it, but let's take a closer look at this and the paint job that they do on this. So here we're going to go with the boots. I mean, it looks all right, right there. Uh, the sculpt is, you know, pretty basic and normal and everything, but the paint job again, I do like the sculpt in terms of like how like there's kind of not, not rivets, but you know, the, the impressions in the pants and everything and in the arms and everything. I think it looks good. Um, you know, this is just like, this is probably the weakest one out of the bunch just because like i said before it's it's just you know a guy in a hood which is fine uh because it was in the movie but you know i mean i don't know I, I don't know how you guys feel about this uh if you think it's basic or whatnot but tell me what do you guys think about this figure do you have it in your collection do you want it in your collection and tell me how you feel about it in the comment section down below all right Hey guys, if you like this, go ahead and check out my main channel at Geek What, link in the description down below. If you want to help support me even more, you can check out my merch store, also in the link down below. Thanks so much, I really appreciate it.